स्वधर्मी चावेक्षर्मी चावेक्ष न विकंपित Translation: Considering your specific duty as a chhatriya, you should know that there is no better engagement for you than fighting on religious principles, and so there is no need for hesitation. Sadharmam swami swami on and dharma means occupation. Dharma means occupation and swam means on. Sadharm coins on occupation. So. According to Vedic civilization, everyone has his own sadharma. This has been uh, misinterpreted by the rascals. Sadharma means anyone can discover his own religious principle. Jato mat pato. Whatever you think a religious principle, that's all. This is why. <coughs> But that is not the meaning. Sadharma means own occupation. Actually, dharma means which you cannot give up. Dhridhatu uh, mat. You have to capture it. To keep your existence, you must uh, capture it. So, we, because we have got body and soul, two different things. We have combination, body and soul. That is already explained very nicely in so many ways. So, actually. Sadharma means the occupation of the soul, <coughs> because in the material condition we do not understand what I am, whether I am this body or I am soul. Mostly people they do not know that one is soul, not this body. Body is the dress or out outward covering, external covering. Subtle covering and gross covering, but so long one is in the bodily concept of life, so one has got different occupational duty according to the conception of the body. So the nature is being conducted by three modes of nature. Therefore, according to one's nature, there is occupational duty. That is scientific division. At the present moment, uh, there is no such division. Therefore, gradually people are degrading to the lowest quality, ignorant, sudra. They are taking to the sudra principle. Uh, yesterday I was presented with a paper, uh, Indian government scheme to help people starting a small. Scale industries and government is ready to help. Uh, you see, cross legged, not like this, all of it. Uh, so, uh, a small industry there, so many motor parts, so many other parts, about two hundred, three hundred items. Uh, government is ready to help the small scale industry, but the government does not know or the leaders. Do not know that to engage people in such industrial affair means to bring them to the sudra platform. Sudra platform. Every government is encouraging people how to become sudra. But actually, the human society must be divided into four parts, four divisions: Brahman, Chhatriya, Vaishya, and sudra. Just like Uh, in our body, there is division. There is head department, the arms department, the belly department, and the leg department. You cannot say let there be only leg department. There is no use of head and arms and belly. Will that go on nicely? If your body, uh, you cut off all other parts and simply keep the legs, will that be very nice proposal? Leg is required, but if you keep the body only by the legs, uh, then this this kind of body is dead body. Any part of the body, 
especially the head. If you cut off the head, then the body is altogether dead. You can cut off the arms, you can cut off the legs, eh? but it is very difficult to cut off the belly or then it will be dead. So, uh, sadharma. Sadharma means the division, chhatriya division of the society. Uh, the Brahman division, the chhatriya division, the Vaishya division, and the Sudra division. Everything is required. It is not that Sudra is not required. Sudra is required. But if you make propaganda simply to make people Sudra, then who will give direction? If there is no head, who will give the direction? So, uh, a Kshatriya, Kshatriya has got a very uh, difficult task to see. Kshatriya means government, uh, the governing division. The, the governing division has got a very important duty to see that everyone is following his duty. The Brahmana is following his duty, a Kshatriya is following his duty, Vaishya is following the duty and Sudra. That is, government duty is, uh, just like in India nowadays, uh, it has become a secular government. Secular government means uh, imper- impartial to any uh, religious uh, system. But the government should not be so callous. The religious in religious principle, let people do whatever he like. No, the government cannot do so. Uh, you can say that you are Hindu, we execute your own uh, system of religion. You are Muslim, you can execute your system of religion. You are, you are Christian, you follow your system of religion. Uh, you are Buddhist, you follow your system of religion. But the government cannot be callous that whatever they may follow or whatever may they not do, and government is neutral. No. Anyone, if he is uh, professing himself that I am Hindu, then it is the government duty to see whether he is actually executing the Hindu principles of religion. That is a secular state. If you are calling himself a Muslim, it is government duty to see that whether actually you are following the Muslim principles of religion. If you are a Christian, it is the government duty is to see that oh, you are following the Christian principles of religion. Not that callous. You can do whatever you like. No. Kshatriya's duty is to see. The king, government's duty is to see. Similarly, if one is claiming that yeah, he is a Brahman. It is the government's duty to see whether he is strictly following the Brahmana principle, samadhava, tritikhar, java, whether he is strictly following how to become self-controlled, how to remain always pure, clean, suchi. Brahman's another name is suchi, always clean. Uh, similarly, uh, arjava, simplicity, Brahman's life should be very simple. Uh, they should not imitate the Kshatriyas and the Vaishyas and the Shudras. Uh, so these principles, whether one is actually following the Brahminical principle. So here Krishna is pointing out that as a Kshatriya, you must follow your principle, Kshatriya principle. What is Kshatriya principle? Kshatriya principle is that dharmadhi yudhya, dharmadhi yudhya, Shreya Anya Chatriya Sanavidyate. Chatriya must be always prepared and if required to fight also whether people are keeping their own principle of religion. That is Chatriya. If a Brahmana is bluffing people that I am Brahmana but he is acting as a Sudra, immediately Chatriya should point out and offer him fight. Why you are cheating people? Why you are cheating people? Uh, similarly, a Kshatriya is, is declaring himself that I am Kshatriya, but is acting as a Sudra. It is the Kshatriyas of the government's duty that why you are cheating people. So, 
a khatriya's business is always prepared to fight. Uh, fight means that uh, to see that everyone is acting nicely. Uh, because if you are not acting nicely, and if I say uh, that you are not acting nicely, you will be angry. Murkhasya upadesha prakopayana sāntha Because if one is actually brāhmaṇa, he must act as a brāhmaṇa. So if somebody says that you are declaring yourself as brāhmaṇa, but you are not following the brāhmaṇa principle, he will be angry. But a chatriya's duty is that if he is angry, he should be punished immediately. He should be punished immediately. That chatriya should judhya, dharmādi judhya, he should challenge. Challenging means judha, fight. Uh, so, uh, chatriya cannot be non-violent. It is not possible. The violence is also required to keep the social system strictly in order. Just like the government has violence department, uh, the police department, the military department, that is required to keep up the society in order. So, here Krishna says, that you are chatriya, your duty is to fight dharmādhi yuddhya. This fight arranged by me in the battlefield of Purukshatra, because it is uh, sanctioned by me, it is dharma yuddha, it is religious piety. It is not the political diplomats declaring war uh, to keep the people in ignorance. No, it is sanctioned by Krishna. Whatever is sanctioned by Krishna, that is dharma. Uh, dharma, uh, the explanation of dharma, I have several times given you, the dharma hi sakshad bhagavat pranit. Uh, whatever God sanctions, that is dharma. So, God Krishna personally has sanctions, sanctioned this battle of Kurukshetra, so therefore it is dharma, dharma jutra, religious fight. It is not ordinary fighting of the diplomats and the politicians. It is dharma yuddha. So therefore he says, dharamādhi yuddhya chriya anna chatriya sanavidyate. You are chatriya, you are fighting for the sake of religious system. That is the, your first class duty, chriya. So, Khatriya, these four principles must be there in the society. Brahman, so the Brahman will not be required to fight. Brahman will not be required to work like Sudra. A Brahman will not be required to work like Bhusha. Therefore Brahman can beg. Paton, paton, jajan, jajan, dana, pratigra. This is Brahman's business. He must be a good scholar in Vedic literature. Uh, and he must teach others. Not that I have learnt everything, I will not teach. No. Uh, Brahman must be well versed in the Vedic literature and he must preach also. Make others also Brahmana. Pothan part. Not that I have become Brahmana. So there is no need of others uh, becoming Brahmana, there will be competition. Uh, just like in India, they have become very much afraid that I am making Europeans and Americans Brahmanas. So they are very much against me. They come to fight with me. Uh, so uh, in Hyderabad they came to fight. Sir, you are making Brahmanas, these Europeans and Americans. Uh, this is not good. And why not? So we had some discussion. So actually uh, it is not that Brahmana is made by but Brahmana means Chatur Mannang Maya system Guna Karma Vibhag by quality and work. Similarly, everything by quality and work. This is confirmed by Narasmani. Jasahi Jatlakhanam Sha Varnabhi Manjaka Jadi Annatrapi Disheta Tatti Naiva Binid Dishe. Jadi Annatra. If the Brahminical qualities are uh, visible, manifest elsewhere, elsewhere maybe he Shudra, maybe Chandala, Gatte Naiva Vinidhi say, one should accept him as Brahma. Similarly, 
If one is born in Brahmana family, but his qualities are like Shudra, he should be accepted as Shudra. This is the injunction given by Naradamani, not ordinary person. And upon this, the greatest authority of comment on Srimad Bhagavatam, Siddhar Sami, he, he has commented that uh, janma of birth is not the chief uh, requisition to become uh, samadamadi. Uh, one must be qualified to samadama tritikha suchi. Then he should be accepted. So it is the duty of the chatriya. Unfortunately, uh, the so-called government men, they are also sudras, the so-called priests, they are also sudras, the so-called vaishyas, they are sudras. The whole world is now full of sudras. Uh, so you cannot expect anything very nice uh, in this uh, situation because everything is being conducted by sudras. Uh, so uh, Krishna is advising Arjuna that uh, this fight is not ordinary fight. It is dharma yuddha. Uh, and you should accept it, you should not hesitate. Uh, after all, the uh, soul is never killed. It is the duty. Uh, it is the duty of different dharma. The sadharma, sadharma means so long one is in the bodily concept of life. This sadharma means this brahman, chatriya, vaishya, sudhi. This is sadharma. Uh, and Arjuna belongs to the Chatriya. Therefore, his sadharma, his occupational duty is to fight. Uh, so, uh, and real sadharma is uh, spiritual sadharma. In the spiritual, uh, so when you go deep into the matter, when you understand that uh, I am not this body, and so, then that is real sadharma. Uh, and what is the occupation of that sadharma? That is, uh, to be engaged in the service of the law. Jibere Swaru Poy Nitya Krishna Da. Actually, that is sadharma. Every soul is eternally servant of Krishna. That is uh, spiritual sadharma. And material sadharma means this Brahman, Kshatriya, Vaishya, Sudhya. Therefore, this sadharma changes. Sadharma changes as soon as one is elevated to the spiritual platform. That is explained in the Bhagavad Gita. Sagunan samatitta etan brahma bhuyaya kalpate. Who? Brahma bhuyaya kalpate. One who is engaged in devotional service. A devotee's position is transcendental. He has no, no more sadharma in the bodily concept of life. Because he is neither Brahmana, neither Kshatriya, nor Vaishya, nor Sudra. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has said that I am not a Brahmana, I am not a Sudra, I am not a Kshatriya, I am not a Brahmachari, I am not a uh, Sannyasi. In this way he negativated all the eight items uh, because uh, Sadhamna means one last Sadhamna, Varna Nasa. Four caste, Brahman, Chatri, Vaishya, Sudra, and four spiritual order, Brahmachari, Grihastha, Bhanapustha, and Sanya. The Chaitanya Mahaprabhu denied that I am not this, I am not this, I am not that, I am not that. Then what you are? The Gopi Bhattu Padakamalevo Dasu Dasanu Dasa. The Jive Sarupa Nitya Krishna. Gopi Bhattu meant this, uh, maintainer of the gopis, Krishna, Gopi Bhattu. Gopi Bhattu Padakamalevu. Uh, I am the servant of the lotus, a servant of the servant of the servant of the servant who is engaged in the service of the lotus feet of Krishna. Uh, so, uh, this is Krishna, those who are in Krishna consciousness, those who have decided to serve Krishna only, uh, they are no longer in the categories of Sadharma, the bodily sadharma, Brahman, Khatriya, Vaishya, Sudra, Brahmachari, Manaprastha. He is transcendent. That is confined in every sastra. So, so far we are concerned 
Krishna conscious. So long our bodily concept of life is not completely eradicated, we must follow the sadharma of the body. Brahman, Chatri, Vaisa, Sudra, Itta. But when actually advanced, uh, that is Mahabhagat. Uh, we should not imitate that. But our process is, the more we advance in Krishna consciousness, we become transcendental to this bodily concept of life. Brahman, Chatriya, Vaisa, Sudra. But Krishna says, Mahajabhyavicharini bhakti yogi na jasi vate sagunan samati tai dana brahma bhuya kalva. Uh, so anyone who engages himself without any reservation to the service of the Lord, uh, he is not within the category of this uh, eight varnasana. He is transcendent. So Brahma bhuyaya kal. So as a Krishna consciousness person, uh, he can act like anything by the order of Krishna. He can act as a Brahman, he can act as a Sudra. Because his main business is to carry out Krishna's order. He is no longer within the category of this order. So Krishna uh, asking Arjuna that if you are thinking uh, in the bodily concept of life, then also, which first of all, when I have order, I have sanctioned, you can work it uh, beyond the bodily concept of life. But if you are thinking still, that you are in the bodily concept of life, then as a chatriya it is your duty to fight. Uh, Krishna is trying to uh, uh, put Arjuna in the dilemma. This way or that way, you must have to fight. Uh, if you think that you are not in bodily concept of life, then it is my order you must fight. Uh, if you think that you are in bodily concept of life, then you are a chatriya, you must fight. Both ways. You have to fight. This is Krishna's Thank you very much.